Weatherproofing America here, going to talk to you today about some brick pocket flashing. As you can see on this house, uh, what they've done here is they've taken this flashing and they've created a four inch space, air space, between the wall and the flashing and they've stacked a couple two by fours uh, on the roof and this is actually where they're going to set their brick. So if you've ever wondered what a brick pocket is, this is a, a great example of a roof to wall brick pocket and the flashing that is typical around the nation. What they're going to do, this, this isn't quite finished and ready for brick yet. This roof has just been installed and the flashings put on, but what they're going to do now is uh, right before the brick guys uh, come, the soffit and fascia guys are gonna come and put the soffit and fascia on. And when they do that, they're gonna take and cut this flashing. They're gonna fold it over this, this two by four. They're going to take a piece of colored aluminum metal that you cannot solder or seal up. And they're gonna put it on top of here wrap it up on top of this two by four and then up the wall. Most of the time that flashing is put right on top of the house wrap. It's not like they lift the house wrap up and, and put it behind it, uh, but everywhere that they've got to transition. So corners where they bend this metal, that aluminum metal that they call counter flashing around this corner, they're gonna have to cut it right here. Where they cut that and uh, push that onto this two by four, they can't solder it and seal it up. So they're going to have to rely on caulking. And typically they don't even put caulking. They just cut the metal, fold it around, make it look pretty on this outside. And then what's underneath the brick, they don't care about. So there's usually holes and, and voids that are in these areas, uh, as well as when you transition roof pitches. So when they come up here, they're gonna have to cut this metal to make it bend. So this is a vulnerable place. That uh, corner is very vulnerable, and there's no telling how they're actually going to finish this uh, with the house wrap. Uh, what they've done over here on this side that you can see on this dormer is pretty typical of what they're probably going to do over here when they do install the counter flashing. They've taken this, this flashing and they've put it actually on top of the house wrap. And then they've taken zip tape, which this zip tape is, is not stuck. You can see here, I'm, I mean, I'm just pushing on it and it's coming off. So there's uh, multiple uh, fish mouths or, or bubbles, wrinkles in this tape that's gonna allow the water to go behind it. They could have simply avoided putting this tape on by lifting the house wrap, putting the flashing and putting the house wrap back over the top of it. Same thing with the bottom of this window we talked about earlier. So um, as you can see, long term, these are not solutions. This is, this is going to be a major issue. Uh, for proper installation, visit our website, weatherproofingamerica.com. Thank you.